The calling of God is definitely not for everyone. Controversial rustenberg based Ghanaian preacher Nanapoku has made a shocking revelation about his questionable calling and the calling of other men and women of the cloth. In his usual blunt self, Nanapoku says calling these days is all about the pockets and not the pulpit. Using himself as an example, he said he ventured into ministry because he was broke. Shocking. But now, because of money, what you eat, I'm being honest here. Even me, I was hungry before I came here. Because of what you eat, ne, it makes us not tell the church members truth. Because of competition, if you can stand there, pastors, ne, we are selfish and we are greedy. You don't know the secret. This is why we are not doing it for God, we are doing it for our stomach. Because, brother, when you preach John 3 16, for God so love the word, all the multitude, the money that is coming, where is it going? It's coming to our pocket. You will not know the secret. So many people love us move from prophetic church. Because we don't take the church serious. I'm being honest here. I'm a prophet. We don't take this work. We, 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 we take this, this work as if it's for us. He says ministry has now become a competition amongst leaders of prophetic churches completely throwing their so-called calling out of the windows. So anybody, have you seen any evangelist who has made name in the whole world? Apart from the person who come like I'm an evangelist bunky. Have you seen an apostle become a great in South Africa? Everybody is a prophet. Brother, it's a challenge. Nanapoku is high, I need to go high. Nanapoku is prophet, I need to prophesy. Nanapoku, he hire people to work. Okay, fine, listen. We have some people, especially even Daniel came to me. They all see I hire people to work, yes. When they went, what then? Why? People don't. It's a gift. If you are going to bring wheelchair, let the person even walk physical. Physical. Nothing will happen. Anapoku says coming of Shepherd Bushiri into South Africa brought extreme pressure on many South African pastors, which compelled them to do other unthinkable things because, according to him, Shepherd Bushiri took over the prophetic space in South Africa. When Bushiri was here, it was a big challenge to South Africa, the whole South African pastors. It was a big challenge. When Bushili came, the Bushili put pressure on South Africa church. The secret is here. So it became a challenge. So if you can see, those who are big, they, are, they were going down. Even Bushili bring challenge. So all of us, when we are working there, we are working and follow Bushili to be there. The one person I cherish in the world is Bushili. Bushili and Bishop Zondo. That is all. I don't have anybody in the world. Bushili, he knows. Africa, who knows? Bishop Zondo knows. I know. Which pastor who didn't get in pressure when Bushiri was in South Africa? Pressure was on them. To the point that ne, all of us are prophets and we are taking people for wheelchair. And Africa will upgrade the miracle. Because Bushiri was here. He wanted to get the name which is more than Bushiri. That's the secret. Wow, that's interesting. 